From the rolling hills of normal. His beginnings in Alabama started in Shanks. To the flowing waters of the shoals. It's important for artists and producers to draw from the past. From the stars above. It was an amazing experience in that I saw and worked with engineers who looked like me. To a house of worship. The one thing they could not take away from us was our faith in God. As we look back on past trials. I want them to understand that people there are people had to make sacrifices. We're reminded of tomorrow's fight. I want to see us correct all the mistakes that we've made. Honoring Black History Month, sponsored by Window World and Mazda Toyota Manufacturing. Well, thank you for joining us for this News 19 special and giving us the opportunity to tell your stories. I'm Dallas Parker. And I'm Lindsay Smith. Historically, black colleges have served several functions in American society. During a time when white institutions shut black people out, HBCUs were there to provide them with that higher education. Today, more black students are attending predominantly white institutions, but HBCUs continue to serve a vital role in the community. And I actually had the opportunity to speak to representatives from all three of the Tennessee Valley's HBCUs. Historically, black colleges have been serving students since the 1800s, providing what some say is a safe space for students of color. Here in Alabama, there are 15 HBCUs, making our state home to more HBCUs than any other state in the U.S. North Alabama is home to three, Oakwood University, Drake State Community and Technical College, and Alabama A&M University. Alabama A&M, known to many, but few know about the man who started it all. His beginnings in Alabama started in chains. After he began his educational quest, he would return to that very site and begin um, continuing the education, the mission of education to help elevate of people that was once subjugated. Dr. William Hooper Council was born on a plantation in North Carolina in 1848. By the end of the Civil War, Council was freed. He went to school to further his education, spent several years teaching, and in 1875, he became the first principal and president of Huntsville Normal School. In 1969, the Alabama State Board of Education, the governing body of the institution, adopted a resolution changing the name of the institution to Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. In 1887, Dr. Council attracted wide attention when he filed a lawsuit with the Interstate Commerce Commission for being ejected from a first-class coach while traveling on an Alabama railroad. They found that Council was in his right and they said if anyone purchased a first-class ticket, it must be treated with equal and fair accommodations. This would actually create the doctrine of separate but equal, thanks to Dr. William Hooper Council. If you head south on Meridian Street in Huntsville, the next HBCU you'll come across is Drake State Community and Technical College. Drake State today has been built on the shoulders of the previous leaders here. Established in 1961, Drake State opened its doors in 1962 to 27 students under the name Huntsville State Vocational Technical School. In 1966, the school changed its name to J.F. Drake State Technical Trade School. The school started as a vocational training school with four programs. Cosmetology, TV and radio repair, automotive and brick masonry, like those core programs of which African-American lives were built around. In July 2013, the college officially became JF Drake State Community and Technical College. As I sit here today and look across the landscape and think about the demand for skilled labor today here 2023, how visionary they were to fight for this institution to maintain its existence because now the programs that we offer, the training that we provide, the need has never been greater. And a drive through downtown and off Sparkman Drive will take you to Oakwood University. Founded by the Seventh Day Adventist Church in 1896, Oakwood Industrial School was started on 380 acres of a former slave plantation to educate the recently freed African-Americans in the South. 
The school offered a faith-based training for individuals and throughout the years grew until it received its accreditation as a senior college in 1958. Oakwood officially changing its name for the fourth time in 2008 to what it's called today, Oakwood University. From then to now, from making college affordable to supporting African-American students seeking degrees and careers, some say the role HBCUs play is unquestionable. The need for historically black institutions has never been greater. We have a lot to celebrate because as we think about our doctors and engineers and all of the folks that, that these institutions produce, that's something to be celebrated. Now, North Alabama is deeply tied to the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM field, with NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, the Redstone Arsenal, and contractors across the area innovating the latest and greatest technology. That's right. STEM has proven itself as an integral part of our community, and with that, intrinsically tied to the fight for equality. News 19's Deidre Briscoe has that story. Before Alabama ever began the process of desegregation, black men and women were part of the team working to get America to the moon. The NASA Marshall Space Flight Center was established in July 1st, 1957, more than five years before Huntsville would become the first city in the state to begin integrating. Clyde Foster, a black mathematician technician working for the Army Ballistic Missile Agency at the time, was part of the core nucleus of scientists and researchers transferred to the newly formed Marshall Organization. While there, Foster continuously pushed NASA leadership to open up opportunities for black students on HBCU campuses in North Alabama. In fact, she had a lot of slack about setting up those training programs on the HBCU campuses because at the time, the white universities were still segregated and the black students weren't necessarily allowed on some of the campuses. Clyde Foster's work to start these programs paved the way for people like Tawana Plummer Laughing House, who manages the Technology Demonstration Missions Program at Marshall. She originally dreamt of becoming a doctor, but through NASA's SHARP program, her eyes were turned to the stars. It was an amazing experience in that I saw and worked with engineers who look like me. According to the Pew Research Center, black adults are less likely to earn degrees in STEM than other fields. They also make up a lower share of STEM graduates. Every responsibility that I'm given at work, um, every new role I, that I take on, I want to knock it out of the park so that the next Tanya has an opportunity. Angela Walker, the director of spacecraft and vehicle systems department at Marshall, says the work of Clyde Foster is not lost on her. Because of their success, that gave the marketplace a comfort and a confidence in the abilities of folk who weren't like the norm. And so because he did, I now am, and I too carry that same burden that same calling. This year, Huntsville City Schools held a STEM program named in honor of Clyde Foster to encourage kids to look at STEM careers and show them it takes a diverse group of people to create success. And some students say they have a vision for the changes they want to make in the world as the next generation of scientists and researchers. I want us to stop um, using so much CO2 and putting it into our atmosphere. I want us to start using more solar energy, um, stop using um, batteries that can harm our environment, um, gas, oil, all those things. Deidre Briscoe, News 19. When we return. Uh, our DNA has been tied to faith in God since the very beginning of time. The freedom of religion is a sacred right defended by generations of African Americans. How that fight continues today. It's the story of a North Alabama man inspired to walk his own unique path during a time where that was unheard of. How that inspiration continues to push the new generation.